Okay, in this video, we're going to do some basics of input. So at the moment, this assignment always assigns the value of the rectangle width variable to the value 7. Now let's say we want to change that, so we input or get the user to type in any rectangle width that they want. So let's delete this um, assignment box and this rectangle height box, and instead we're going to put some input. So I select input, and inside this input, double click, and I'm going to have a prompt. This is the question that we want to ask somebody. This is what they see when it's requesting the information. So let's write here, input the value of the width of the rectangle. Okay, and whatever they type, I want to be stored in the variable that I assign here. So the variable in this case is going to be rectangle width. Okay, so it's going to show this message and then ask um, the user to type something. And whatever is typed is going to get stored inside this variable called rectangle width. Notice that we get this uh, input box. They're parallelograms. There's an input arrow, so it's stuff that's going in. So that's the input. It automatically creates get. You don't type that, notice. So notice I didn't type the word get in here. I put the prompt up here which is basically the string input the value of the width of the rectangle. And then here I assign the variable rectangle width. Let's do a similar one for the height. So I've selected input again. Let's put the height in here. Double click. And here we're going to have input the value of the rectangle height. And this is going into the variable rectangle height. Okay, this time now I'm assigning these rectangle width and rectangle height variables from the user rather than hard coding, hard coding it via an assignment. Here I'm still calculating the rectangle area uh, through an assignment to being whatever was typed in these two uh, input statements here. Let's run that and see what happens. Hit run. It asks us input the value of the width of the rectangle. Notice that that's the prompt that we asked for. And if I type 7 in here, then the value of the rectangle width gets assigned, you can see over here, to the value 7. Okay, so now it's asking us for the height. Maybe I put an 8 in there for the height. And then it calculates the rectangle area as being 56. Notice that this is not output, this is simply the watch window. So this enables me to watch what the values of the various variables are. 